And today on Science with Samantha, we will be discussing swallowing, which is also known as deglutition. Swallowing is the process of moving a bolus of food from your mouth through your oropharynx, through your esophagus, and into your stomach. This process occurs in three phases. The first phase of deglutition is the buccal phase. The buccal phase begins with mastication. Mastication is the process of chewing and creates a bolus of food that will move through the stages of swallowing. Teeth break down the food into smaller pieces and mix it with, with saliva, creating the bolus. Chewing is controlled by the tri trigeminal nerve. The tongue then pushes the bolus of food against the hard palate in the mouth and back against the soft palate. The last step in the buccal phase is the bolus is pushed into the oropharynx. The buccal phase is, volunteer, is voluntary while the other two phases are involuntary. The glossopharyngeal nerve provides sensory information to the upper pharynx and the posterior third of the tongue. The pharyngeal phase of deglutation begins with the bolus stim stimulating tactile receptors which are located in the oropharynx that then stimulate the medulla oblongata. The pharyngeal phase of deglutation is controlled by the swallowing center in the medulla, which is located in this area. The medulla oblongata stimulates the soft palate and the uvula to close the nasopharynx. The medulla also stimulates the epiglottis to close off the trachea. This prevents food from entering either one of these areas. The upper esophageal sphincter, which is located right here, relaxes and lets the bolus enter the esophagus. The esophageal phase begins when the sphincter relaxes. Peristalsis, which is the contraction of smooth muscle in the esophagus, propels the bolus down the esophagus. Once the bolus reaches the bottom of the esophagus, the lower esophageal sphincter opens and the bolus enters the stomach. And that is the end of the process of deglutition.